I hereby summon all my imps. Hey everybody, it's Anima. Welcome to a very spectacular Marvel Snap on this Halloween night when we talk about the Werewolf by Night. Part of the spotlight cast for this week. Although technically they're no longer called spotlight caches, I will still always refer to them as spotlight caches. I don't care. So for the, we're going to talk about Werewolf by Night today. We're going to go on his background. But let's start on some of the easier stuff. Werewolf by Night is a 3-3 three, three card. With the description that after you play an on reveal card at another location, move there and gain plus two power. Werewolf by Night appears as a man, but once bitten by a werewolf, he is cursed that under moonlight he transforms into a werewolf. Werewolf by Night form varies with the phases of the moon. Under the moon's light, he is a bestial and savage, possessing the barest hint of human form. At other moonlight phases, he can control his werewolf form and rage. Werewolf by Night eventually merged his werewolf form with his human side form, gaining the best qualities of both. He can now transform at will. Still, the werewolf remains most savage under the full moon. Werewolf's powers are Speed, superhuman strength, razor sharp claws and teeth, healing, reflexes, and sense of smell. He is resistant to many forms of conventional entry and virtually impossible to kill. He can recover from non fatal wounds ten times faster than humans. He is vulnerable to magic attacks, particularly to assault involving silver due to its magical purity. Werewolf by Night is more powerful when the moon is on reveal and he moves into his werewolf form. This is characterized in Marvel Snaps by on reveal cards making him move and get more powerful. Let's talk about some of the cards that is with Werewolf and Nice, some of the stuff that's good with him. And where I think he falls into the categories here. So on a five star range, I feel that he's perfectly right in the middle by a three star card. You look at a lot of the stuff on On Reveal, there's a lot of stuff that falls into the On Reveal category. Notable. Uh, cards that you gotta look out for are Silver Surfer. It's because he'll bounce over to where the Silver Surfer is, get pumped by moving over, and then get pumped by the Silver Surfer. And the other one that you gotta look at is... Where are you, buddy? Artem Zola. Artem Zola can now destroy a card. And Werewolf by Night will pop over to where Artem Zola is to give you that little bit of push near the end. It's also it's kind of good with Heimdall, if you've ever played Heimdall, to do that same trick. The problem with Werewolf by Night is you have to have a spot and have an on reveal that can go into a different spot. 
So things that you would normally think might work with him. Like arrow, or perhaps Dr. Strange will not actually work on him. So the move has to happen not because of a move effect, but because of the auto reveal effect. So if you have something that moves him over, but isn't an actual auto reveal effect for not going to power him up. Also, you gotta watch out for things that start flooding the board, and it doesn't, because of it working the same way, kind of like how silk works, it's not gonna be able to go straight into Sanctum Centurn. You would have to get something else into Sanctum Centurn and then have it go in there. And not quite sure how that's going to work with Jeff. But I don't think Jeff's an on the field card. Hang on. No, it's not. Okay, so Jeff doesn't count anyways. So, that, that's the answer to that question. So, decently good card, but if you're looking for a 317, a 322, a 3 something ridiculous like that, not the card to get. If you're just looking for a three, five, three, seven, maybe even three, nine, not the worst card in the world. Other cards for this particular week are Silk, another move card that isn't that great on her own, and Ghost Spider another move card that isn't quite that good. So if you don't have any of the three cards, not a bad week, but if you're just looking for Werewolf by Night, neither one of these other two cards are really worth getting. But let's see what we get in the box this week. We have to hold now, so now we get to say what's in the box. We got Werewolf by Night. Nice. Oh! That's gonna be a nice one to play with. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and as always, remember, play full fun.